Hey there, good people. What's happening? David Taub here from nextlevelguitar.com. And uh, I thought we'd do a little lesson today on some fingerstyle acoustic with some rhythmic slapping. Um, it's kind of a very cool technique. I think you'll like it. Um, it's going to take a little bit to get the hang of it, but like with everything else, you know, you're playing as an evolution. And if you just put that guitar in your hands every day, even if it's only five, ten minutes, you will get it. And you can do it. So stay positive. And with just a little practice, you're going to be ripping through this. What I'm talking about is uh, I want to kind of get this kind of sound. And I'm not going to be using a pick for this lesson. So if you have your picks, put them down, throw them away. Uh, because we're going to be doing this all finger style. So, and I'll, and I'll show you which fingers I'm plucking too, but just so you can get this kind of rhythmic kind of sound. It's going to sound like this. I'll just stay on like a G major chord. And it'll sound like... So I'm getting that... that rhythmic percussive little added, little added element, which is really cool and um, I'm doing it on certain beats and it can really add a lot to your progressions to really kind of spice things up. And I was just holding a G chord there and I'll explain how I'm doing it, but you could do that with like a progression. Like we're gonna take like a G uh, to a D, D major, all open chords, E minor, and a C major, key of G major. So if we do it on those changes, it sounds kind of cool. Okay, so what am I doing? How, how, how is this happening? Okay, well, what I'm basically doing is I'm playing a G major chord, and I'll flash this um, uh, in text on the screen, and let's just practice it on the G major. So the first thing I'm doing with my hand is um, I have my thumb on the low E string, and I'm kind of plucking that. Actually, I'm kind of pulling. Think of your hand like a craw, claw, and you're pulling the strings. So I'm pulling. I have my thumb on the uh, low E string, I have my third finger on the high E string, and my second finger on the B string. Um, and I, I have my first finger on the G string. So kind of just, kind of like pinch and pull. So that's the first. And then with your first finger, and all this while holding the G chord, just come up with the first finger and catch like the high E and the B strings. You can even catch the G string if you want. So you kind of get this. Then the third thing is you come down with the hand right on the strings and I use like the flat part of my knuckles and that's the sound you want. So you get, so you kind of get that finger pluck, then up with the first finger, then slap. Up, slap. So it's kind of like a one and uh. So think of it as an eighth note, one and uh. And then just keep repeating that to practice it. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. So remember, here's the motion. It's finger pick, and then first finger, just hit the strings, and then down with that rhythmic slap. That's all it is to it. Easy and fun, but it adds that extra element, and it sounds Real nice finger pick, because finger pick, you get that real soft sound. If I was to do it with an actual pick and then use chucking, it would sound like. Much more harsher, you know, kind of sound using the pick. So I kind of like for this technique using the fingers. The next chord is the D chord, so do the same thing. Put your thumb on the open D string root note and then grab with your third finger the high E string and your second finger the B string and you kind of pull those kind of pluck them and then with your first finger just come up and get the high E and the B string and then down with the fist and on the minor chord again I have my low, uh, low E string I have my thumb playing that and then I'm just catching the high E and the B string with my um, second uh, and third fingers. One and a two and a 
and then go to the C chord. And um, on the C chord, my thumb is now, you're going to play that A string because you're catching that C note on the third fret. So it's like the thumb plays the root of each chord. And it's just a matter of getting that one and a two and a three and a four and a getting that slap on those rhythmic accents and that's the hardest part but you'll get it it just takes a little time just practice it slow on one chord like just practice on the C chord if you get tired of the G and then take a known chord change that you know something easy you know and just practice it back and forth and um, pretty soon you'll be doing it and then to spice it up a little bit, play embellishments of the chords, like, you know, the suspended and add chords that we work with a lot. Like I'm adding a G add 4 here. Now on the D, I'm playing the D sus 2 by taking my second finger off of that high E string on the D chord. And on the E minor chord, if you add your um, third finger to that high E string, at the second fret on an F sharp, no, that's like an E add two, as you're adding that F sharp, off, and on the C, there's so many you could do. You take your first, play an open C major chord, take your first finger off, you have a C major seventh, uh, add your pinky to the high E string, you have a C with a high G, that's a nice chord. If you add your pinky on that um, uh, third fret on the um, B string, you have that would be a C add four because we're cause you're at, actually it would be a C add two because you're adding the D note and playing the high. You're still getting that high E string in there. Or add your pinky to the D string on the third fret, and there's that C add four because you add that F note. Um, still playing the high E so it wouldn't be a sus4 it would be unless you don't play the high E there's the sus4 if I play the high E it would be an add4 but just little embellishments hear the difference I'm adding uh, something different each time by little embellishments so but I'm using this technique and that's all it is so practice that I think you'll really have fun with it and you know use it in your changes and get creative with it and um, if you want to explore it further uh, we have a two-hour DVD a song that they use that throughout on probably one of the most famous songs that they do it a song by the band extreme called more than words it's a really famous song real ballady very 80s very cool, but he's doing that rhythmic slapping throughout the song. And uh, we actually have a two-hour DVD where we go over that whole song, everything, full song lesson from, you know, all the different the verses and the choruses. And he's playing a lot of really cool chords and embellishments. We show you all the chords up close, how to do the slapping, and it's a great song. It's a little challenging because of some of the changes he puts in there. But, man, that's how you get better is push yourself to, to tackle more challenging pieces of music. It makes the easy stuff easy as pie. You know, so check it out. You might like it, you know. Um, if you want to watch a DVD preview of the, the actual two-hour DVD, I'm going to put the link in the text box right here in, in the YouTube text box. Just click on that, and that will take you to the page, and you could read what's on each menu and um, uh, check out the, um, uh, the DVD, like, four-minute preview. And see if you might, you know, you might like it. And it's a really fun song to play. It's a great song to play on acoustic uh, um, when you're hanging out with your friends on the porch or campfire or playing it for your significant other. It's, it's fun. So enjoy that. Hope you like that little uh, rhythmic slapping. And uh, we'll see you in the next lesson. I'm David Taub. Keep putting those guitars in your hands every day. Rock on.